Hey, what is up, everybody? I'm Star Lord, and welcome back to episode two of Bloxburg Cribs. Yes, that's right. This series is now back up and running on my channel. Hopefully, I will do a lot more of these episodes. But today's episode, we are going to be reviewing Trit Hats. Trit Hats? Trit Hats? I don't really know what your name is, but anyway, we're gonna be reviewing your really awesome, I guess a modern take on a building. So let us switch to first person and head on in. So as you can see, the this is the main lobby that we're going into, which has some really nice white carpets all the way through. Looks very nice. There's the garden to the right, but we'll go inside the dining room right here. And I love what he's done with this table. I don't know how he's done that, but I really want to know. So I can do it in my own house. I want a really long table like that. There he is over there just after the kitchen playing on his awesome grand piano. And if we just go over here and just kind of take a little look around, uh, you can see that with this white, gray, and kind of black uh, modern house, we've got this really nice kind of uh, simplicity to it. And it kind of shows in this little picture here, just like enjoy the journey, you know, guys, just enjoy the journey. That's all you got to do. So it's very nice, very simple house, exactly what I love. Now going into the guest bathroom, I guess this could be called. We have two sinks for, you know, him and hers. We got a bath over there and a little poopy toilet where people can take their poopy poops. Uh, I will most likely go in there after today's episode. Uh, but going inside here, we have a bit of an artistic room. It looks very vibrant with the one colored kind of pictures here. And uh, yeah, I guess this is where people just kind of come, chill, lounge, listen to music or paint with the, uh, the scrittle in the background. I don't really remember what they're called. You draw on them. I don't know. <laughs> My son has one, but I forget. Uh, and then as we go back in, we are back into the kitchen. Very nice looking indeed for now. Uh, but if we just kind of continue on, we're going to be going to the guest room, I guess. This is like a guest lounge where people can just kind of look at this tree and say, hey, that's a very nice tree right there. That's pretty cool. Uh, but here we have the guest toilet. And uh, I don't really want to show you guys this proper toilet because the person who last stayed here didn't flush and it stinks like deer poop. Yes, deer poop. Uh, but anyway, inside the guest bedroom, we have a picture of mushrooms. I'm not really sure why we have pictures of mushrooms, but we do. And uh, yeah, they look pretty good. Moving on, we are now going to go upstairs. I will probably save the garden till last, maybe. I'm not too sure. But if you are enjoying this build so far, guys, then don't forget to leave a like on the video if you want to see more of this series. So here is the upstairs kind of area. And if we go in here, it looks like he's built some kind of gaming room with a little platform in the middle so they can't kind of look over at each other. I don't know. This seems like it's a gaming place, maybe. I don't know. I mean, there's a lot of monitors there. I, I doubt that you'll be doing, like, using a microphone. Microsoft Word on like three different monitors. So yeah. Now as we go in here, uh, there's just another guest bedroom, exactly the same as the other one. It's kind of just like he's duplicated, except the dresser is in the toilet with all of the poop particles. So now he has poopy clothes. Very nice indeed. And as we continue down, we just have this nice area where we can look out these windows to the view and that guy jumping around out there. He's a crazy guy, wanted to get in and kill me. Uh, but yeah, you can read books here, guys. That's pretty much all you can do here. Just read books, and if you don't like the books, jump out the window. It's all good. Uh, and here is another guest bathroom, probably with poop still in the toilet. Let's continue on. And here we have a gym area with a lot of punching bags and uh, just gym stuff, I guess. And a really creepy picture on the wall. I, why does he have these pictures all over his house? Because, like, there's a lot of them right now, and they're kind of creeping me out. Uh, another room right there, and once again, oh my, there's four of them inside here. There's four of these creepy pictures inside of here. Why would you want to sleep with these weird people drowning in the water? Why does he have these weird pictures? Tell me, guys. There he is, running with his little skeleton legs. Uh, okay, We're, I don't know where he went. He went to go train for the Olympics, I guess. Uh, and this is really nice, actually. I really love what he did with this room. Uh, this was one of the rooms that actually stood out to me. The way he put the bookshelves in the middle to kind of make an island of bookshelves so that you can kind of rotate it around the room. I'm just going to go at it one more time. But yeah, I thought this was a really cool idea and I really can't wait to see more people use it in their builds. It's, it's pretty unique. I've never seen that before. So yeah, well done to you, dude. And as we go up, this is the third and final floor, and as you can see, he has, I'm guessing, his own room in the loft. And it looks very nice, compact, 
I don't know why he has two sofas if only one person, or maybe two, or maybe three if he's a player, is staying in that room. I'm not really too sure. But anyway, um, and then we get into this kind of dressing area where he keeps all of his Nikes and his Jordans and all of that kind of poop. Uh, and then we have a balcony where at the end of the day, if he's had a bad day at work, he can just throw himself off. Pretty nice, because, you know, as you're falling, you get to see that lovely view. That's a pretty nice, lovely view. I'd like to see that while I'm falling down. Anyway, what we're going to do now is go down the stairs to the jacuzzi. Look at that. Really nice. In the middle there. Uh, surrounded by all of those different lights on top of the house. Now, unfortunately, this is daytime. So, obviously, you can't really see the, the lights. But I tell you right now, when they are lit up, this place looks absolutely amazing. It's really nice how good the white works with black. It's just great. There he is again. He's homeless now because I kicked him out. Or maybe he just fell off the balcony because he had a bad day at work and broke his little tiny skeleton legs. Maybe. I don't know. You tell me in the comment section below, guys. And last but not least, we also have a little tiny garage here with these hedges. Pretty nice little kind of area to keep them away from the house. And uh, yeah, we just kind of look. It's very nice, guys. This was a very awesome build. I was actually pretty happy to see this. And uh, I really did think it was awesome. And I hope that you guys feel the same. I'm pretty sure that he said that this actual house itself cost him around about 600,000. I could be wrong. Don't quote me on that. But anyway, if you did enjoy the actual view of the house itself, guys, don't forget to leave a like. And uh, yeah, I hope that you guys are really excited for this series to uh, like pick back up on my channel. If you are, like I said, subscribe to the channel, leave a like. And until next time, guys, I've been Star Lord. Oh, see ya.